Another American cargo ship came under attack overnight. The Liberty Sun out of New York, carrying food aid and destined for Kenya, was attacked by a single pirate ship, which opened automatic weapon fire and shot out ship windows with rocket-propelled grenades. The USS Bainbridge, carrying Maersk, Alabama, Captain Richard Phillips, responded to the ship's distress call. But the pirates retreated before the Bainbridge arrived, and the pirates never got on board. These continued attacks, 78 since the beginning of this year, with more than 200 people still in hijackers' hands, have triggered outrage. These pirates are criminals. They are armed gangs on the sea. And those plotting attacks must be stopped, and those who have carried them out must be brought to justice. And the attacks have raised renewed questions, like, why don't the ships take a different route? Going around the bottom of Africa, for example, versus traveling through the treacherous waters off Somalia. In this case, time is money. The Cape route takes eight to 10 more days, a long delay that costs companies up to $40,000 a day. I have not seen an issue that has raised so much concern among the industry as this one has. Second, why not create a narrow shipping lane that's protected by warships? A stronger possibility now, according to experts, given that the pirates currently patrol a vast area, 1.2 million square miles. But it would still require hundreds of ships to patrol even a narrow corridor. Frankly, just don't have enough naval vessels in the world that you will want to commit to that kind of a mission. Third, why can't the U.S. simply eliminate pirate land bases through air raids or missile strikes? It's a complicated issue, but one problem is that pirate organizations are small and scattered, making them very hard targets. The basic problem is that the military response is a very heavy-handed one, and we're dealing with the need for a very calibrated response against specific individuals or small organizations. There is really no easy solution here. Now, Maggie, tonight we're waiting here at Andrews Air Force Base for the return of the crew members of Maersk, Alabama. They'll be reunited with family members here stateside, which should be a joyous reunion. Captain Richard Phillips, though, won't be back until at least tomorrow. Maggie? They won't mind the rain one bit. Jeff Glor. Thank you, Jeff.